ในหัวข้อแรกของ CFD session นะคะจะเป็นหัวข้อที่ชื่อว่า new features and a roadmap of cradle CFD ค่ะนำเสนอโดย Mr. Shibahara Makoto นะคะท่านเป็นประธานและ CEO ของบริษัท Cradle Software นะคะในหัวข้อนี้นะคะก็ขอเรียนเชิญ Mr. Shibahara ค่ะ Hello everyone, uh, My name is Makoto Shibahara. I'm a head of CFD Center of Excellence of Design and Engineering Business Unit. This time, I'd like to introduce new features and roadmap of Cradle CFD. Let me introduce our new schedule. The end of last year, we released the V2021 of Cradle CFD, and we released 2021.1 as a minor version in last April. Uh, and a month ago, we did MSC Cosim 2021. Maybe you know, uh, MSC Cosim is a key software or co-simulation solution among MSC product lines. Our CFD team became a product owner of MSC Cosim since last year. From the next year, the cadence of releasing uh, a Cradle CFD and MSC Cosim will be twice a year for each. Currently, we have nine pillars in our product activity. The first one is smart building. Our company started from built environment of a factory and we are leading this area in Japan. This solution is empowered by other hexagon solution. The second one is e-mobility. We are now focusing on the battery solution recently, and uh, we have a plan to establish a system of systems. The third item is renewable energy. It's about wind energy, solar energy, uh, hydrogen conversion, and fuel cell. Uh, those applications are, are growing rapidly. Next one is E and E, electronics and electrification. 5G and power device are the next target. We have a good stories uh, for the uh, manufacturing. Life science. We are uh, now into the blood flow simulation and we are planning to launch a vertical tool point. But the smart manufacturing. We have some. Uh, decent stories of HVAC inside factory and air pollution outside the factory. And also the phase change uh, you know, capability in our solution would be the useful for the additive manufacturing. Uh, the next one is multi physics. A lot of uh, applications are coming from the, in the field of uh, MSC software. Uh, you know, Aero elasticity is the first one and the undercarriage uh, of the car, like brake, suspension, tire noise, would be the next application in auto industry. Yep. The hypersonic. Hypersonic, uh, we have a leading technology in CFD world by introducing theory of uh, Dr. Nishika of NASA. The last one is 100x productivity. Originally, it's tanks productivity with the uh, new mesh and HPC, but we are now expanding this initiative to 100x uh, by utilizing a uh, cloud solution or machine learning technology. I'd like to pick two initiatives to, to be introduced. First, I'd like to introduce our initiative for productivity of CFD engineers. There are three kinds of challenges in CFD engineering. Uh, that is accuracy, uh, care treatment, and computational resource. For the human workload, uh, care treatment is the heaviest problem. For example, entire car body consists of nearly 100,000 parts. For each part, you need to secure the water tightness and the conformity between parts. 
Usually it takes uh, weeks. If an expert for this issue handled this, it could be less than a week. However, with the new meshing solution, which is so-called a voxel fitting mesh, we could skip the data cleaning or wrapping phase. It will become just a half day job. Uh, we are starting to use this solution as a handy tool recently. For example, one of our engineers uses a voxel fitting mesh for the you know, battery thermal simulation. We tried a few design patterns, but for each case, uh, it took one day to mesh it. With the voxel fitting, uh, it's shortened into just a couple of hours. We are now tackling the shell or sheet parts. You can mesh those parts with grouping them without wrapping operation. In version 2022, we will acquire the capability of panel meshing. In the human workload, the cat cleaning uh, takes uh, 90%. Now, we can say you have a capability to make your productivity uh, 10 times. We call this concept as 10x productivity. Recently, Hexagon acquired CAD LM. Their engineering AI or ML uh, capability drive us to more productive way. We believe it's going to be 100x productivity. I'll show you the, uh, the part of our challenge to the future. The secret is hidden in the history of CFD. We established our company nearly 40 years ago. We are one of the oldest CFD company, by the way. And it starts from only solver, then uh, measure holes, then automated measure. In this century, uh, the interest uh, is going upstream to CAD affinity. Uh, the latest decade was optimization of the geometry, uh, geometric shape. But the optimization usually takes hundreds of iterations. Very few companies are using optimization for actual uh, design activity because of this. But the uh, Odyssey makes this iteration uh, one or two digits less. With Odyssey, our dreams come true. Our journey is getting close to the end. However, even with Odyssey, it's not enough. CFD solver is the most costful simulation in CD world. Recently, we found the best tune in SC flow. It is the coupling between voxel fitting measure and density based solver. Voxel fitting mesh could reduce the matrix size and it takes uh, solver speed faster, like this. Yeah. But with the stability uh, of the density based solver, uh, we could solve that problem. And we made the density based solver faster in 2021. We will keep making effort to speed up our density based solver. One of the efforts is migration uh, of our solution to Fugaku. Fugaku is the number one supercomputer for more than two years. We chose Fugaku not only for the speed up, but also the power efficiency. It has twice more efficient than Intel uh, architecture. We believe uh, the wave of zero emission is coming to all of the industry. And all of the division in the company need to reduce CO2 footprint. Your R&D division is not the exception. We used Fugaku to calculate Tokyo Olympic Stadium for the healthcare of athlete of Olympic. Let's watch the movie.
We also did the simulation with solar radiation. We used 216,000 uh, scores of Fugaku uh, to simulate uh, this kind of, uh, you know, uh, wind simulation or solar radiation simulation, you know. And we believe uh, we broke the world record of CFD uh, commercial code. The next initiative is smart breeding solution for built environment. Our company started from the HVAC inside factory, but environment simulation with the CFD works for uh, generic building or housing. However, uh, we are also focusing on factory or plant. As I said before, all the company uh, need to pursue sustainability and the airflow and thermal management inside out and outside of factories would impact those initiatives. I'd like to introduce our smart HVAC story. Usually, the workflow starts from BIM dataset. Uh, BIM is the sort of CAD system or PRM framework in uh, construction industry. But we have found in the most of the cases, the user cannot get the 3D model. Uh, data, the data is still managed by the you know, paper media. Uh, you know, BrickScale is one of the portfolio uh, of Hexagon PPM, and it has a good function to create a 3D data from 2D data. You know, but some of the you know the cases, uh, you know, uh, we couldn't get even 2D data, whether it's paper media or digital media. For those cases, uh, we have found that the LiDAR measurement is quite useful. And the hexagon has a strong portfolio of LiDAR sensor with like a geo system. Uh, by connecting those dots, we are offering you a digital transformation uh, capability. Currently, uh, we are adding idea to this workflow. From the right hand side, uh, we are integrating BrickShell and SC Stream. And we are trying to connect AI solution to get the whole space allocation. By using AI, we will be able to reach mixed reality solution. And it can uh, offer interaction by using uh, mobile devices. We call this function as a quasi real-time simulation. In the end, we are planning to use uh, the handy LiDAR device which uh, uh, Apple recently add to iPad and iPhone. Then we can start the whole workflow from the mobile device. Then we can enclose the circle of a smart building. We are planning to make this story be uh, automatized on cloud and uh, we will get, uh, you know, on-demand capability on mobile device. We are now completing the first step of this solution. It is the AR experience on iPad or iPhone. It will be able to run on uh, your iPhone. Uh, let me introduce our digital transformation project for our HMI Tokyo office. We created the 3D data from uh, Tokyo office uh, from the uh, PDF file uh, by, uh, you know, provided by an engineering company who designed our office. Uh, once we will be able to host the physical user conference, we would love to demonstrate these tools to you. Let me walk through our recent achievement of development uh, briefly. This is the newly developed function for the multi-phase flow. This is a case of tri-phase flow for gas, uh, water, and oil. It's a separator tank of water and oil. And we are introducing a uh, dispersed multi-phase flow model. This model captures the surface between gas and liquid more accurate than both model. We are adding a string model to our demo solution. Originally, 
it's for that filtering issue, but it can be applied to simple elasticity issue of the you know, beam structure and something else. Uh, lower light movie is a traditional burning mosquito coil in Japan. This is about the heat exchange between solid and dim particle. The thermal solution on them is one of our strengths on our dim solution. This is one of the application which we are challenging. Maybe you know uh, we have a good capability for washing machine uh, simulation. Especially the drying stage is uh, one of our differentiator. We are tackling uh, on introduction of plasticity as a particle interaction. By doing this, we could reproduce uh, the wing groups on the fabric, like the right hand side of images. Uh, we are improving our cut cell function of SC stream. In 2021.1, we added a solar radiation function on cut cell. In 2021.1, uh, we added photorealistic function in our post-processor. We have prepared similar patterns of visual effect like this. And with just one click, you could achieve these rich e expressions uh, without using computer graphics tool like Blender Maya or 3D Studio Max. And we added the post capability for Adams. We basically has a visualization capability for Mark, Nasran, Actron, and Adams. But some of the you know, primitives uh, of Adams couldn't be visualized. Now you have it. As I told, uh, we released MSC COSIM 2021 about a month ago. And in it, uh, you could recheck the boundary condition on the same window. We will expand the pre processing capability in the next version, and not only for the preview, but also the conditioning uh, respect to COSIM setting. And Cradle has a high end capability for launching solvers. We applied it to launch uh, connected solvers and COSIM engine. With 2021.1, we'd like to propose our new license. We have had two major products, uh, which is SC Pro and SC Stream. We are now integrating those licenses into one package. And this license is including uh, Pickles 2. The price is set as same as SC4 and SC Stream in most of the regions except Eastern Asia. By this license, we are proposing you a unique and strong capability. With the SC Stream, you get the super fast meshing and robust solver. With uh, SC4, you will get the high fidelity uh, regarding to you know geometry. You will have CVD solution uh, for all of the uh, industrial application like electronics, uh, built environment, automotive, and aerospace with the same price of SC4 or SC3. We believe this is a revolutionary uh, proposition in the history of the CVD industry. The new license is available only after 2021.1 and is not available in all the version. Please be careful if you uh, already purchased our seed license. In V2022, we will have uh, lots of new features. For the measure, uh, the box cell fitting approach will have a new capability for sheet parts, uh, as I mentioned. And the voxel fitting measure is fully distributed in cluster machine. By utilizing the same environment for solver execution, the
the limitation of the memory of large scale uh, problem will be eliminated and the speed of machine increases drastically. For the density based solver, you will have a hypersonic capability for more than Mach number 10. About incompressible flow, we believe the density based solver is more robust and faster than the pressure based solver. So once we could solve incompressible flow with the density based solver, it would be the first option to be chosen. It will be ready in V2022. Also, uh, multi uh, thread parallelism will be uh, supported. In the license structure of Credo CFD, the up to two thread uh, is allowed to be used. So, if you have enough CPU resource, you could enable uh, this option and get a uh, faster speed for uh, density based solver. For uh, multi phase pro, population balance model will be introduced. The model is the strong tool uh, to solve multi-phase flow, uh, which includes bubbles. Yeah. And with the partnership with Rogsoft, an advanced chemical reaction model will be available with uh, an additional license of Rogsoft. In SG stream, uh, you know, the biggest thing is uh, an introduction of topology optimization. The genitive design function for CFD will be available by this. And you will have a UV lamp radiation function for the use of the sanitization for uh, virus like uh, COVID. Like I mentioned in the earlier page of this presentation, we have nine strategic initiatives toward the next coming three years. Uh, we are targeting uh, not only te uh, technological function, but also uh, industry applications. That's all for me. Your feedback will be appreciated very much. And that feedback will be the cradle of Cradle CFD. And it will forge our katana. With Katana and the way of Credo, we will serve you as Samurai. If you want to know more about our philosophy, please visit our homepage and download our white paper and ebook. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimashita.